Hey you guys, my name is Lexiana and welcome back to my channel. So I just did a empty apartment tour. So like I'm thugging it on the floor right now, I'm trying to record this video for y'all because we ain't got no furniture. So um, I'm just gonna just talk about my experience, my process and everything that I had to go through to pretty much move up here and what's it like up here. Just FYI, it's a complete different world up here. Like people say it all the time, but no. The way they do shit is wild. So I just did an empty apartment tour, so make sure you guys go subscribe and check out that video. It's a snow day, so I'm trying to be productive and get things done. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into it. So I'm gonna just talk fluidly about my experience and what I did. Um, and all, everything that I did was off of like people who already lived up here, me taking their advice or my own personal research. So before you even decide to move anywhere, I'm not even just gonna say New York. Well, well, yeah, cause this is specifically for New York. So before you just decide to move up here, you need to set yourself on a budget, <laughs> a serious budget, like how much do you want to spend in terms like monthly for our apartment? How much can you spend monthly on an apartment? I'm gonna tell you this right now, just to keep it trail, it's very expensive to live up here. So a lot of people do have roommates. Like it's not, it's not, not something that's like strange. It's just, it just, it is what it is. Like no one can really afford, especially like people our age, like can afford to live by themselves. If you can, kudos to you. You got the coins, I can't, so. This is for all those people who can't. Um, so pretty much just set a budget. Like for me, I knew I didn't want to spend, like my max was $1,000 a month for a place. Like $1,000 a month, I'm not going over that. If I go over that, then if I find somewhere that's over that, then that place pretty much just isn't for me. Like I have to keep looking. From there, it was like, okay, figuring out what area do you want to move in so for me luckily i had friends who already lived in the city so i was able to come up here for like a few days out of the week and i came up here a few days out of the week and i looked for a job which is going to be a whole separate video um, about job searching and hunting and how to do it in new york because that's a process as well but we're just going to focus on housing for now um i do say that if you are trying to move here they try to say like secure a job beforehand but a lot of places if you have somewhere you can stay with someone you can stay with or somewhere you can stay then i say do it but if not move up here first have enough money saved up and just kind of like have faith in yourself for pretty much like i just took a leap of faith and was just like i ain't got no job i got some money saved up i'm gonna do what i what i'm gonna do pretty much so that's how i laid it here so what was i saying oh yeah so <laughs> find the area this floor is so uncomfortable. A floor that, find a floor. <laughs> find an area that you wanna live in. So like, for me, I knew what certain area that I wanna live in. That wasn't too bad, that was close to trains, that my commute wasn't bad, I had a lot of things around me. So that kinda gave me a plus, but that's only because I had people kinda telling me like, these are the good areas, these are the bad areas, stuff like that. From there, what did I do? To keep it true, y'all, like I had a goal to move to New York, but it wasn't till the end of 2018. And <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. Like I moved up here at the beginning of 2018. Like he was like, nah, sis, like you gonna move at the beginning. We gonna get this started now. We're not about to prolong this. Like this is what's gonna happen. And I just, I followed his steps. I followed his way and boom, I'm here. Been here ever since. Um. But I would definitely say set a timeline for yourself in terms of moving, but things move so quickly. Like, you can find an apartment and the next day it's going to be gone. Two days from now it's going to be gone. Like, when you inquire about a place, it's kind of like you better have your money on demand. You better be have all everything that you need to have in terms of, like, employment verification. If you do, like, do a lease, um, have all that stuff, your paperwork, your pay stubs shoot they want to see my bank account they want to see uh 
pay stubs. They wanted to see like just a whole bunch of. They wanted my life premium. I'm surprised they asked the blood. Like that's how much stuff they wanted to see, just to see. Okay, can you afford this? Can you move here? Boom. And then from there, once I was able to verify everything and I paid my deposit, and because um, New York works a little different, they sometimes you have to put down like a first a security for the first month's rent and um the last month's rent so i had to put down a deposit first and uh first and last which is a lot of money at one time especially when you're not expecting it so um that's just something to keep in mind too when you're looking for places so i would have i would just mental note of that um so if you don't have the best of credit you might need a guarantor, which I didn't know anything about no guarantor until I got up here and which they pretty much just kind of like co-sign for you. Um, but if they don't have decent credit, then it don't make no sense. So they need to have like the income and like a really good credit score. So it's also something to think about as well. Yeah, like I said, a timeline of when you want to move and where you want to move. So from there, there's hella places to look like search on. I use Nooklin, um, I use Street Easy, I use Facebook groups like they, they have like NYC sublets, um, subleasers, something. It's like NYC subleasers, NYC Gypsy Housing. Um, Gypsy Housing is pretty much just like how I'm personally living. Like right now, I have two roommates. Um, I'm trying to think. Let me look on my Facebook. I don't know why that was like the song that just came to my head at that given moment. Black people of color housing, there's like a NYC, then there's like gypsy housing NYC. Uh, it's so many different groups, like <laughs> there's so many and people post on their daily. So I use between friends knowledge, my own personal research, the gypsy housing and stuff like that and those apps i was able to find like numerous apartments i went and seen so many apartments like i was just on the hunt like i was like with the broker uh trying to see places too so also the difference between some places versus others let me break it down to two categories so some places if you look at it they may have a broker's fee so you have to pay a broker's fee i don't recommend that i definitely recommend finding places that don't have broker fees or working with the agent that doesn't have a broker fee because it's just like one of those situations where it's just extra money for no reason like who can find a place without having to pay a broker fee the option if you can sublease i personally think that subleasing is the best way to go in terms of like transitioning here and i say this to say you don't know the city you don't know the area you're going off of only research and people's opinions you don't know nothing so if you don't like the situation that you're living in you can easily like get up out of that situation like it's easier to get up out of a sublease than there is than it is to get up out of a lease so um that's something to think about too i definitely recommend subleasing first like if you can just sublease because it'll, it'll allow you to get a feel like is this really where i'm supposed to be do i really like this place like do am i really going to stay here like is everything do i like this area do i want to move to another area like it's just all those things to keep in account once you actually find a place and you go through the process of looking at it um everything is moving fast like you need to make sure that like you're prepared to be you, you're pretty much on the go from there for me my process took literally like a week if that to get approved to get my paperwork to apply to look at it everything like happened within a week and then i got my move-in date and i had to pay the rest of my money and everything like that so i had to get a u-haul um and move everything by myself because I'm, I'm up here literally by myself and because i'm like adult and things happen and things move quickly i had to move on my birthday on my 24th birthday all day every day i didn't even get dressed for real i had on some damn adidas pants a hoodie and was literally like trying to just move my shit in like just trying to get in and be this was my gift to myself of being an adult like i did it and that's just what that's just sometimes you got to do that so so but when i did initially 
So when I did initially move from DC up here uh, with my mom and stuff like that who helped me move in, I had to rent a car. You gotta pay for tolls. Like I'm just thinking like this is all the things you have to keep in account. You have to pay for tolls, I had to pay for a rent a car, um, pay to get up here. To live up here in terms of like food and toiletries and transportation, everything is way more expensive. Food definitely is expensive. We ain't got Walmart. I'm looking for Walmart. It's like, where they at? Like, that's my plug in terms of cheap things. Ain't no Walmart. It's literally, like, only Targets or, like, side corner stores or bodegas and stuff like that. So, it's really different to kind of adjust, especially, like, when you're used to a normal routine or a store and stuff like that. Nah, this is a totally different ball game, Peter. Also, I've learned, because it's snowed, like, 50 billion times since being here, that the snow does not stop these people and that they're going to continue to keep moving. Everything literally just keeps moving as I watch the train go. It's just a blizzard and this, this train is still having a great time. Still going. And where am I at? In the house. Because I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> mm -mm. It's like the wind is smacking you with the snow. Oh, Jesus. It's me talking, y'all. So don't. I'm just getting my thoughts out, pretty much. And hoping to try to help someone else. If you have any questions about anything, um, please leave them down in the comment box. If you don't want to leave them in the comment box, please follow me on Instagram at LexViana. They'll be down below as well. And DM me, I will DM you back. I'm not that person. I will definitely DM you back and answer any questions that you may have. Um, because I wish some, I don't say I wish somebody would have did that for me, but I'm just so stubborn and independent that I want to do everything on my own. So um, if I can just give my tips and tricks and how I would do it differently if I was had to do it again, someone else, I will. Just DM me, DM me, shawty. Like I said, it's it's definitely possible. It's definitely affordable to move here. It's just literally all on you and uh, saving as much money as you can. I think that would be the, the biggest thing. Unless you have something already lined up, save as much money as you can. If you don't have an income, and just do it. Like, I feel like we're young. I know for me, like, I'm young. I don't have any kids. I don't have any obligations. I'm just like, you know what? I'm here. I'm just going to do it. No regrets. Taking, just enjoying the, the process. Enjoying everything and going for the ride. Like, I just, I know everything that's meant to be will be and everything that won't, won't. Um, do my last place trying to get here I was like I don't know where I'm going but I'm not going back I'm not going back to DC so I need to figure out what what plan A B C and D is um and I did and plan A actually worked and shocked me so I was just like okay yes I am doing something right I am going in the right direction I am doing what I'm supposed to do this is cool let's get it and boom I'm here so um I would just definitely say Continue to keep thriving, continue to keep dreaming. Like I dream every day, all day, and I just, dreaming keeps you youthful. <laughs> it keeps you sane. Uh, keep setting goals for yourself. Once you knock down one goal, continue. This was like a goal for me that wasn't, it was at the end of my 2018 growth list. Like, and it became priority, it came number one, and I did it. And now it's like the other goals that are before it that are so minute. I'm like, damn, I can really knock these goals down if I was able to accomplish the big goal first. Um, so you just have to trust yourself, trust the process, have faith, uh, don't listen to others. I have a lot of people, even family was just like, you're moving to New York, you can't afford to live in New York. And that's like, da, 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 da. Huh, I'm here. I can't afford to live in New York, I did it. I knew that there was a way. And guess what, I'm here. So. You didn't stop me. Your negativity did not stop me. So that that's just the one thing I can just tell tell to someone like who is trying to do it. I encourage it. If you want to move to a new state by yourself, get up and do it. It's there's ways to do it. Um, just have to have literally just have to do it. Just have to jump. You know, just <laughs> jump off the ledge and just do it. So I'm here. Because I don't really, I'm going to ramble. <laughs> I've already kind of been rambling, but I'm really going to ramble, ramble. I just, I'm in really like a nice, positive headspace. I'm so like thankful. Like so, 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 so thankful for just the position and where I'm at right now in my life. Like, 
I'm I'm seeing life in, in a different lens and it's just so much I don't know I can't explain it like my hands is like tingly like I'm excited every day I wake up and I'm like you know what you can't be upset you did something that you wanted to do like it sh I shocked myself I shocked the hell out of myself. I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. To anybody who's thinking about making a move to anywhere, especially New York, you can do it. I don't recommend moving in the freaking winter time because it's freezing outside, it's cold, it's probably going to snow. So I do have a blogging channel called Lex in the City that I started off, just started. And it's pretty much just going to be me vlogging my experience by being here. Me showing the ins and outs, um, my bad days, my good days, when I look a mess, when I don't look a mess. Uh, I don't know, this is gonna be really transparent. Make sure you definitely subscribe to my vlog channel. All that will be down below. Um, and it's gonna be Lex in the City Vlogs. And yes, honey, so keep up. Hit that subscribe button, push that like button, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you.